Welcome to another edition of Telescope Man. Well, we're at the uh, June ATM SIG meeting of the Texas Astronomical Society. We got Glenn Fitzgerald here. And Glenn has manufactured a bino chair, a bino chair to hold binoculars. So he's got it on the floor here. We're going to show it to you, and then Glenn's going to talk about it. Of course, he built this one from scratch. So, Glenn, uh, take it away. <laughs> So here it is, and it's collapsed, and this is how you carry it around in the car. I think Glenn said that it collapses into five pieces, five pieces, I believe. Of course, he made all this in his wood shop at home, except for the chair and the bearing in the chair, which I think he bought at Lowe's or Home Depot. And what this does is you can set this up and comfortably use binoculars at night to scan the sky. So I'm assembling it here. Putting in locking pins for safety. <laughs> and of course he made this out of some junk PVC that he happened to have at home. And there's the counterbalance over there. I put the pins and the string so you don't lose them. To make the pivot point, drilling straight down. Where'd you find this chair at, uh, Glenn? I found it at Walgreens. They had a camping chair. It's a backpack. Walgreens. You can probably get one. This is a real white one. I wanted to get it right. You can get it at probably um, Cabela's or Outdoor World. And to get it from straight on the first shop. It's a camping chair. Show me that screw you're using. What I did is it's just a little thumb screw. 10 by 32. And they put a little space around it to hold it in place so it doesn't go all the way down. Into T-nuts on the bottom. That's what I was doing. So you got a T-nut underneath that's yes. permanent. Permanently mounted at the web Well, you're going to cut this down, right? Yeah, I probably have to cut it down a little bit. You probably want to. It's really So what I do is he's just putting the screws in the, uh, to hold the chair down right now. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is, once you do experiment... Then in a minute, he's going to take that piece try, over there try, and bring it over so and mount it to the, uh, first of all, just to the chair, to basically. On the uh, bottom, Glenn, you just built a box and then put a put a bearing in it that you got from uh, Home Depot, and then another piece of plywood on top of that, right? Okay, uh, in the very middle, mounted right in here, and then I put four wheels uh, to help stabilize it to keep it um, level. Your all have and then it just to keep it light, it just got the blocks of wood to, to keep it separated. And I measured how high up we wanted the chair. And because it's a backpack chair, the chair's real low on the ground. And when you put it on the stand, it puts it up the height of a normal chair. 
you can you can always you can always mm -hmm. come up. And the bearing is down in inside yeah, of there. Here. I don't know if any, they can see it. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but but I can see it from here. There's a lazy Susan bearing in there. Yep, it can handle 1,200 pounds. Yeah. Oh, so all of my projects from, from starting it in the notebook until slightly after the yeah, well, there's okay, yeah. so there's it goes in the notebook and then about a little less than two years later is the it works and about two years it's like okay now it. It works. Oh, right. oh. First, he gets the bolts through the chair arm or the little metal bracket that's holding the chair. He gets the bolt through there, and then he lines up this piece of wood. And as you can see, he's cut a groove in that piece of wood that fits onto the uh, arm of the chair. And kind of stabilizes it there. And then he tightens up the belt. Holds it right onto the uh, bracket on the chair. So here it is. He's got the arms on there completely. There's the counterbalance uh, right underneath this. Well, you can see he uses a weight, a uh, barbell weight for the uh, counterbalance. And now he's going to mount his binoculars on there. And we'll show you how this finishes out. Okay, so there goes Glenn. He's sitting back under dark skies and he can pull this device down and uh, basically twist it and balance it back and forth to stabilize the binoculars so you're not actually holding them and they're not shaking. Yeah, they finding them something. No, probably one of the pieces on the bottom, but that's all. You can see it rotates. And you can see how it rotates around. Basically, you pick a section of sky and then you only move it just a little bit back and forth, up and down, and you get a real steady view of the night sky. Pretty neat, out of uh, just uh, very little store-bought material. And here's a sauna tube that Doug's going to use to uh, build himself a scope. Six-inch six scope, isn't that right? Yeah. yeah. It's an eight-inch sauna tube. It won't be that long. He'll cut that. But basically, this is what's used to make the telescope tube uh, for a Dob, a Dobsonian-style telescope, is a concrete sauna tube. Let's go. Yeah, he's. Good advice from this group. It's like, don't even try it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's starting from even a more rudimentary position than we are. Oh, he's, he's casting his own mirror. He's casting glass. And working with John Barrett. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're good. How is John doing? Doing good. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, everything's set up now. Okay. Much. Just making the molds and waiting for the glass to dry. Oh, good, good, good. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you encouraged him to do something like that. Right? Yeah. Come on, and then you've got the mirror grinding machine too, uh -huh. which needs some, some yeah. work done. Yeah, we right did now. a lot of work on it. We've got it pretty well to where it can do, we think, 24 inches now. Okay. We're just, I'm going to go there after this and I'm going to help reassemble it. Uh -huh. It's in a few pieces right now. Oh, good. We got it out and cleaned it all up and got some of the old grease out which had turned to mud and 
Yeah. Now we're going to re-grease it and put it back together. It needed lots of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Okay, do that again. <laughs> Move to close the meeting. Second motion. <laughs> All in favor. Aye. Aye. Opposed? I, I'll oppose it. <laughs>